It's my feel good breakfast show. Welkom terug. Dit is je goed voel om bij programma Expresso. Net hier op SABC3. Als je dus pas en geschakeld, jij is net betijds. Want als je listens voor iets zoets, chef Moira is en die komt bij zijn. Zij gaan een haspen op een klassieke Amerikaanse nagerechts. A very delicious treat heading your way now in the espresso kitchen. We're making pull apart bread. It's also known as monkey bread. It originated in the US as a breakfast item, and the origin of the name is unknown. But what is known for a fact that it is always eaten by hand. And my hands are positively itching right now to tuck away, but I'm going to practice some restraint while Moira shows us exactly <laughs> how to make this delicious treat. Moira, I love you to have you in the kitchen. Thank so, you for having me. Monkey bread. Monkey hey? bread, yes. Well, normally mon monkey bread stems off a scone dough, yeah. and then you normally layer it. You make little balls or then you layer it with cinnamon sugar and things like that. This is just a spin-off of that and you'd probably call it, it's in between a Chelsea bun and a monkey bread. Yeah. Chelsea bun has normally got um, yeast. We don't put yeast in. This is based off okay. the scone dough. All okay. right, so I've made the dough already and the recipe is on the website. All right. And what we're going to fill it with is um, some apple and pear, some nice. nuts in it. So we're going to make the filling first. So I'm using the Kupa apples, which I've just chopped up again. Yes. Okay, because you don't want it too chunky. Okay. And I'm using the coup pears, which we've drained all the excess, and Brilliant. then we've also chopped it up. Okay, okay. Apple and pear go so well together. And then another thing we're going to add in is the cranberries. I love cranberries, yes. and um, I know you don't like raisins, so I was looking <laughs> after your needs. But you can put raisins. <laughs> you can put raisins like, yeah. in, or you can omit them if you don't like any of those. But I like the cranberry because not only it gives a nice little colour to it, it's also a nice sweet flavour. It does, yeah. it does. And then I'm adding in some pecan nuts, okay. and then we add in some mixed spice, and then we're going to top it off with a caramel sauce. Mm. So that's why you, you want that to be the hero of it. It's very Brilliant. decadent. It's really great for parties and that. Yeah. If you do this pull-apart bread, you, you pour the sauce over and you serve, and people just you know pull it apart and eat together nice. right and then we, 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 can, we, actually, can, we can positively say it brings family and friends together oh, it does. you know <laughs> people love interactive um, cooking and sharing yes. things together nowadays all right I'm not going to add the sugar in there all right. I'll take brown sugar and I'll just put it over the base okay this helps to caramelize and give it some color while it's cooking um, I suppose you could just mix it in but I like to yeah. do it this way all right, all right. filling on top so you want to make you make sure to spread it out evenly you do and Obviously, you, you're going to roll yeah. it, so you will get fruit in every, in every yeah. layer. I like this because I think this is something that, you know, not a lot of people have tried before, but uh, definitely people something to scared. aspire people to do. People are scared about Chelsea buns and stuff like that. Because, when yeah. You, like if it. you go out and buy them outside, they're so expensive and it's so much easier to make at home and it tastes better homemade. Yeah. So now you could roll it that way, but you're going to get quite a thick um, roll. So I like to roll it on a long uh, okay, blade. So you, you roll it and then if, you, if you're scared to do this, put some greaseproof paper underneath yeah. and then you roll it with that and it's much easier easy. but you just roll it tightly oh and see how look easy at that. that is to well, that do was, that was really quick and easy it is okay. really and there's no right and wrong way to do it so they mustn't stress about that yeah. i like to just neaten it off at the end yep and then you cut it into the same size All right. What are you slices. Like two centimeter slices there. Yeah. Brilliant. Well, if you want to get your hands on the recipe to our monkey bread this morning, I think it's such a great recipe to try at home. SMS the keyword KU to 33728. That's KU to 33728. We'll send you everything you need to know. You can also visit our website, expressoshow.com, if you want to check out the uh, recipe. All right, so you can see the layer there. So what I've got is a springform cake tin. You okay. can use any size. My recipe does make two, so you could make it and bake it and then put in the one in the freezer like and take that. it out and pour it with caramel. Yeah. But um, it's, but if you've got lots yeah. of people, they're just going to eat it all. <laughs> so you sure. always, you always, you start on the side. All right, show there quickly. All right. And you always put the end together. Yeah. All right, and you, and you just... So you just kind of fill up the whole You just thing. kind of fill up the whole way. And then we're going to put it into the oven like that yeah. to bake. Um, until it's done, and when it comes out, we're going to put the caramel sauce all over it. Easy like that. All right, we're going to finish this guy off. If you want to see those steps once again, here's a quick look. For the caramel sauce, combine cream, butter, sugar, condensed milk, vanilla, and lemon juice in a pot. Stir until sugar is dissolved. For the bread, rub butter into the flour. Add in enough milk to make a soft, sticky dough. Roll the dough out into a rectangular shape. Sprinkle sugar onto the dough. Mix coupés. Two apples, mixed spice, cranberries, and nuts. Spread the mixture over the dough and roll up the dough. Cut into equal pieces. Place upright over the base of a cake tin. Bake for 25 minutes. Pour the caramel sauce over the top and allow to stand for 10 minutes. For the full recipe, visit the Espresso Morning Show Facebook page or log on to espressoshow.com. SMS the keyword Q to 33728 to receive the shopping list on your phone. Click on the link provided to view the recipe. 
SMSs cost 1 Rand 50, no free SMSs, T's and C's apply. And there you have it, quick and easy monkey bread. Why don't you try this at home? SMS the keyword Q to 33728. Moira, this looks great. It really so does. It so does look great. And you can see I just started just loosening it up a bit so it makes yeah. it easier for people to pull it apart. Okay. And then so then you just pour this ca lovely caramel look sauce at over that. it. The recipe, the recipe is on the website. Yeah. Obviously sugar and condensed milk and vanilla yeah. essence, a little bit of cool. lemon juice. And then just a couple of these. And then just, you just garnish it with a little bit of pico, extra toasted pecan nuts. Yeah. And you serve it. Thank you so much, Moira. What Pleasure. a great recipe. Thank you for having really, me. Really Thank you for a, helping me. A treat in the Espresso Kitchen this morning. If you want to get your hands on the recipe one more time, the keyword is Ku. SMS that to 33728. In the meanwhile, why don't you share some of your favorite Ku recipes with us? You can do so. Send those recipes to food at expressoshow.com. Only the best cooks serve Ku because they know it's carefully grown and made with meticulous attention. So when you serve Ku, you can trust you serving only the best.